this year. Alright, that's it. Thanks. Thanks. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, if it's an MMO, it's got to be a huge game. Big. Tell us all about it. I don't even know where to start. Uh, so as I said, you know, action adventure. What, what we mean by that is, this is a game, a second persistent world that is designed for people who want to have action adventure online. It's nice. Not, it's not a hardcore, you know, kind of deep uh, niche game. Um, the, the, the design director is a guy named Steve Hadley, who was the lead designer of Diablo 2. And so in the same way that he took the RPG uh, segment and really blew it open for the masses, that's what we're doing with the here. So, awesome. set in a mythological world, the first online game set in ancient civilizations and mythology. So if you love Rome Total War, Gods of War, Age of Mythology, Civilization, this is the type of fiction and uh, environment for you. Um, in um, uh, gods and heroes, the gods and the creatures of mythology are alive and well. And what everybody knows very early on at like level three is you are the son or the daughter of a god, like the classic heroes of mythology, awesome. Achilles, you know, Achilles, etc. etc. Yep. Um, so not only are you getting quests from everybody you meet in the game, but your god and the gods are giving you quests. And one of the unique features of gods and heroes is you're not only unlocking feats and, and weapons and skills, um, but the the gods send you on quests, and if you complete them successfully, you unlock god powers, and so you get to command an ever-growing stable of, of powers of the gods. Awesome. The other really unique feature of Gods and Heroes is it's a squad-based combat mechanic. So while you start as a single player, you very quickly gain the ability to command a soldier. Um, and as you advance in the game, you advance in skills and abilities and level of god powers, you also advance in the ability to command an ever-growing squad of soldiers. So at high levels, you're going to be able to command five, six, seven, eight soldiers, which becomes really interesting when you and your group get together. So now you're not just a single player in a small group of players, but you're a group of guys commanding a small army. Uh, just a different combat mechanic, a more interesting, we think, combat mechanic, certainly an interesting alternative, um, and a much more strategic type of game. It, so it sounds uh, quite challenging for you guys to get all that action onto one server. Yeah, and so one of the things that we do, and, and you know, again, all MMOs right now, and a lot of it is really like strategic use of what we call dynamic zones, which is, you know, uh, instances or, or private spaces for your group. So, you know, the game isn't designed for small army play out in the public world. Um, there is a big public world to adventure in. We've had a lot of questions about whether this is a totally instance world. It's not. Um, but instances are the places where you will get to uh, have larger scale acts, uh, larger scale action with your buddies and your squads and your minions. Cool. So, uh, are, there, are there classes? Are there character yeah. types? Yeah. So, um, uh, in, in the same way, again, that Diablo 2 sort of um, started with that basic frame. Right, there are, so there are traditional MMO classes, there's you know, a warrior, a gladiator, a, uh, a skirmisher, uh, a uh, rogue, a scout, a mystic, and a priest. Oh, that's all? Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, and they have relatively traditional um, characteristics, uh, but through the addition of then the god powers and through uh, minions, and minions really become pretty interesting from this standpoint, because we've built a whole kind of Pokemon aspect into the game where you can go higher to some the regular minion, but quests will give you better minions. Kick-ass minions. Awesome. And they have a variety of abilities. So there are nuclear caster minions and there are healer caster minions. And so you get to have, and every player has a private camp, um, which is where you keep your stuff, and it's where your minions are when you don't bring them out. So you can have 20 minions, 10, 15, 20 minions in your camp, depending on how many you want to go higher and pay for. Game sounds gigantic. When is it coming out? I'm gonna have some time this year. <laughs> Take this. Yeah. So you know we're uh, you know we're, we're targeting a you know a summer you know a summer launch. Um, we're taking a lot of time right now to get it polished and get it solid. Um, we're content complete right now, so we're gonna we're gonna be playing the game for a while. Nice. Well, thank you for telling us all about it. We look forward to come by this spot anytime. www.gotcheheroes.com. You can learn all you want. Go there. Uh, we're about to, about to kick us off stage, but I would like to thank everyone for tuning in for GameSpot's live coverage of CES. Stay tuned to the site, though, because we ran all over the show floor. We have a lot more to show you. Gameplay movies, developer interviews, etc. We'd like to thank everyone at CNET for being so kind for letting us use the stage, and all of our guests for coming by with our awesome game.
games. Today, all the Xbox Live at Sun Crisis, and of course, Gods and Heroes. My name is Rich Gal. For everyone at GameSpot, thanks for watching, and we will see you this Thursday back at GameSpot.com for On The Spot.